Yeah. In and out. Ain't nobody expecting to be me, so. Ain't nobody with them. expecting it to be you. Is that right. what you said? I want beef with them. And that's true. You didn't have a beef with Dolph, did you? I ain't even know Dolph. I ain't gonna even let him have no beef with nobody. You never met him a day in your life? I never met him a day in my life. I just want him on. And we can call what y'all did here, whatever we want to call it, but. You're not a professional hitman or anything, are you? Nah, <laughs> nah, I ain't none of it. But y'all got offered money. Yeah, I offered money. By somebody more powerful than y'all. Yeah. $40,000 is a lot of money to you. At the time it was, it ain't, but at the time, you know, it was, you know, my condition, it was. In 2021, yeah. when you were on the streets, ecstasy, oxycodone, your son had died some months before. $40,000 was a lot of money to you. It was in town. Even to do this type of thing? Yeah, in town it was. After we go our separate ways, do you stay in touch? Do you and Justin stay in touch? Well, I'll I, 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 I heat them up or whatever, trying to see what my money was. You know what I'm saying? He be telling me, Juke said, oh, too hot right now. He going to get with us and all that, too hot. Then, uh, I had, like, when they found the cop, I had, nah, before they found the cop, they had gave me some money to buy a car cover and cover the joint up. Because this car, you're talking about the white Mercedes? Yeah, the white Mercedes. It's left in the driveway of Bradley, is that right? Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, just had somebody to push it back then. It was in the back then. Okay, so it went from the driveway of Bradley to the backyard. To the backyard, Bradley. Yeah. But it was still just sitting there. Yeah, so Quick gave me some money to buy a car cover, cover the joint up, sign that they found. Had up to that point, other than it being pushed in the back, first of all, did you push it in the back or somebody else? Nah, somebody else pushed it. Did you go back to the car at all? Yeah, I went big and wiped it out. Kyle and said, wipe me down. Okay. Cleaning it. Yeah, clean. So you were worried that maybe you left evidence in there? Yeah, I worried because I know I, ain't, I, I opened the door with no gloves on. And when you cleaned it off, was it daytime or nighttime? It was nighttime. So you're nighttime on Bradley? Yeah. Clean out this shot Mercedes. Shot in the yep. Shot in the Shot in the shoulder. Yeah. When you cleaned it down, was it still in the driveway or was it in the back? Yeah, it was in the back yard when I cleaned it down. So it had already been pushed to the back? Yeah. Did you take anything out of the car? No, I ain't taking nothing out. Wiped it down and left? Yeah, wiped it down and left. You were describing staying in touch with Justin, is that right? Yeah. To your knowledge, was he still in town or out of town? My knowledge, he was here. And you had mentioned the money, is that correct? Yeah. And he had told you that Jook said it was too hot right now? Yeah, it was too hot right now. But were you still interested in your money? Yeah, I, I just wanted my money. I did the job, I just wanted my money. Now, could you have gone to Jook and tried to get your money? Nah. Did you know him at all? I, I admit with him, but you know, I, ain't, I ain't have no number on him. How many times had you met with Joe? She one time at Quit House. At Quet's house? Yeah, Quit House. And when did that happen? Before or after Dolph was killed? It was before. Uh, before. When that happened, was there conversation about these hits on the PRE rappers? Yeah, uh, really quick with doing all the talking, like, you know, just telling who out here to pray, how much everybody had on their head and stuff like that. And Juke was just, like, agreeing, like, you know what I'm saying? He made her take our phone outside first before he started doing anything talking. Who all was there for this meeting at Quet's house? It was just me, Quet, and Juke. You, Quet, and Juke. He really wanted to meet. I had pulled up about some XP and Juke was already in there. Gotcha. And, and Quet had started talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see right here, and, and Juke like, hold up, hold up. Phone's outside, so he said, I have phone outside. And came back in? Yeah, I know. Quit took the phone outside in church. Me and Juke was already in hell, but 
we came again and started talking. At that time when you met with Jook, is that the first time that anybody's talked about money on Doll's Head? No, the first time it was just quick by itself. So this had come up before with Quet? Yeah. And then comes up again with Quet and with Jook there? Right. Uh, when did you, in, in that timeline, so first just Quet, next Quet and Jook, right. when did you met Justin in that timeline? Oh, you were like right around the same time, you know what I'm saying? As the first time when it was just Quet, or the second time when it was Quet and Jook? Like in between the first and the second time, I had like Quet had put me and Justin together, basically. Okay. Yeah, I met him and Quet. Jokes the money man calling the shots. Yeah. Quet puts you and Justin together. Right. And you and Justin are cool with each other yeah. and interact with each other over the months. You said at least five times. Yeah. You're trying to, now we're back after the murder, you're trying to get your money. Right. You're having conversations with Justin, is that correct? Yeah, I, I was teasing the phone like. You know what I'm saying? I need, I need the money for the party, you know what I'm saying? Are there, are there times that you're trying to communicate with Justin and in fact you're communicating with somebody else? I ain't, I ain't know it, you know what I'm saying? It's time I ain't know. Okay. Did you come to find out that Jermarcus Johnson had Justin's phone after the murder? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I found that out. I got locked up. Uh, when you were communicating with Justin, okay, these times when Jamarcus had his phone and doing three-way stuff or whatever, what was the substance of those conversations? Well, the first time I was going way back from Atlanta, he said he had got a little package from his homeboy so we could have some money in our pocket or whatever. And uh, I would come back from Atlanta, so I was like, uh, you know, I, I was like two hours out. I like mine. I don't want to just put it in the mailbox, but he said he had a letter with it too. And I know it'd be too many folks in my dad's name who would still be able to be seeing what put in the mailbox and go back. So I told him to get to the lady in the door who like a grandma figure to me or whatever. And he gave her uh, $500 in a letter. $500 in a letter. Yeah. And obviously you're supposed to get 40000 Right. But you got $500 in a letter. You saying right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was the substance of the letter? Uh, saying that Juke said that if we get caught up, he gonna make sure we had the best lawyers and how they will still be hot right now. And this first payment is when you get back from Atlanta. Yeah. How did you get into Atlanta? Me and my girl had went out there. Me and my girl had went out there after like uh, after they found the cop. We had went on out there. Okay. Get get scarce. Yeah, yeah. I, I got scared. I, I got on them. Did y'all drive out there? Yeah, we drove out there. Stay in a hotel? Yeah, stay in a hotel. About how long were you gone? I was gone a couple days. I ain't had any more money on me. I ain't had any more money. Run out of money, you gotta come back. Yeah, I gotta come back. And you come back, do you pick up that money from the old woman? Yeah, I, I picked up the money from her. And I saw how much it was. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You could spend that on pills in one day, I bet. Yeah, that, it's old. Yeah, I can bet it. What'd you do with the letter? I flushed down to it at the hotel room. All right. Is that the only time you got any money from Justin? Nah. Uh, a couple of days later, uh, I was in the city or whatever, and he was saying that uh, he was gonna have his folks to pull up on me, bring me, bring me some money or whatever, hold, hold me down. So, dang, he even pulled up about twenty, thirty thousand lead, you know what I mean? But uh, I had my girl to get at the cop, and she met the person. They were driving on the street or whatever. I had her to have her face mask on, and she said they had their face mask on, so we don't know who it was, but they gave her $300. $300. Yeah. Okay. And this is from Justin's folks. Yeah, this is from Justin's folks. All right, so now we've been paid about $800. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, is there any other payment coming? Nah, all the payments stopped then. All the payments stopped. Stop. Is there any time that you or your girlfriend or anybody received a large payment? Nah.
how much longer passes until you're arrested about? Oh, uh, probably about a week after. I, I had saw, uh, I had saw that when I saw Quick, he was telling me that we, we had to meet up in the restaurant or whatever to get over Jill, get, get my money or whatever. All right, so tell me about, tell me about this again, I'm sorry. I had, so I had, I was inside of me to give me some pills. South Memphis, okay. And I, and I ran in quick. He was going one way, I was going the opposite way. And he blew the horn, and I pulled on over to the side, because Bobby had OD. So I, I would give him my condolences and stuff, too. We had talked earlier about this guy. You hung out on Bradley Street a lot. Yeah. And so did another guy named Bobby Carter, is that yeah. right? And he was a friend to you? Yeah, it was my associate. And he was a friend or maybe even a relative to Mr. Well, Govan? Yeah, yeah. And he had actually died of a drug overdose? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So you are talking with Mr. Govan? So I was, I was giving my condolences because, you know, they said they were like brothers. So I was giving my condolences about Barbara Odin or whatever. And he was like, man, he going to get my money. He going to get my money. He like, when when the last time I spoke to her, just, I was like, man, it's been a minute. He was like, uh, police had just ran in just the spot or whatever, and, and I need to get rid of my phone and all that. And he asked me for a number on me so he so he could get with me. And that is how we started your testimony, right? Hey. We started with this conversation the day before so that you were arrested. Is that right? Hey. So we've come full circle on that. have some still shots and photographs I want to pass to you. Ask you what's in here, Mr. Smith. Council signature on What am I looking out at, uh, at there, Mr. Smith? Photo of me and Jason. And you? Shooting a dope. All right. Do you place that face down on that table next to you? Me and Justin running away from the ship after we got done shooting the dog. Running back to that white Mercedes. Running back to the cop. You place that down on top of that. Thought of me and Justin in Whitehaven, uh, clean, going to get cleaned up after the shooting. Part of that video we watched. Yeah. And are you the one with the messed up shirt? Yeah, I got my shirt up. I got my my hoodie up. My blue hoodie up, and I got one of my arm, his arm, hanging, leaning it down like this because I'm shot. Put that piss down. It's the, it's the house on Bradley where we parked the car across the street from Quail. You can place that down. we was in when we saw Dolphin and when we did the kid. And is, is that when it's in the back of Bradley? Yeah, it is this is where we did when I went and wiped it down in the backyard of Bradley Street. You place that fist down. Now this um, house that was across the street from uh Quetz, had there been a rap video filmed there? Yeah. 